Hong Kong Mahjong is the easiest version to learn. So if you've been wanting to learn how to play, start here. I'm going to play a game of solitaire. This will be a great way for you to see what it's like to play. If you already know how to play, this is a great exercise if you happen to have a set of your own. If you don't, there's a link below the video to where you can get one. Also down there is a link to a player reference with instructions for setup and scoring. Download that so you can follow along. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out next to these risers. They're mixed and built into walls. That way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14, Southwest and North will get 13 each. Okay, everybody has their tiles. We're gonna say that it is the East round. And we're going to see what we can do for East. One fun minimum. Three flower. That's not helpful. We need a one flower here. I think we should go for a half flush. Look at all those though. Single honors. That's kind of a rough start. It's a bit risky. But we do have a pair. There's a chow right there. Isolated too. Let's keep this potential chow and start by discarding here. Let's see if we can do a half flesh. That's three fawn. If we can pair up our wind, that will help. If we could pair up any dragon, that's a fawn. Let's see what happens. We'll look at what we can do for south. Pair of dragons. That's a fawn right there. That would meet the minimum alone. Then we have a pair here of eight dots, five bams, three dots, two cracks. That's a lot of discards for a half flush. Let's just see what the first pick is. These are isolated, as is all these are isolated, actually. There's a potential chow, potential chow, potential pung. I'm kind of thinking half flush here. Let's see what we can do for west. Two honors, single at that. I think we should try for all chow. Chow is three in a sequence. One, two, three, just like that. There's a potential chow here with a 3-5 or 5-7. Here's a potential chow, potential chow. One, two, three, four. All we really need is a pair. We've got four blocks. Now the weights for these for completion are all closed weights. We need a four in the middle, six in the middle, two in the middle, five in the middle, isolated. So. This particular shape is pretty weak. We'll have to see how it goes. Hopefully we fill in. Let's see what we can do for North. They're kind of in the same situation as this player. Five discards to a half flush, but we have a chow there, potential chow, potential pung, potential pung or potential chow. Let's keep that. Let's discard the one crack first because we do have chow potential right here and here. Okay, we're gonna start by discarding seven dot.
I'm going to use this to mark whose turn it is we're going to draw for south because nobody can take the seven dot. Three bam. Well, that was fortuitous. Potential chow, potential chow, potential pung, potential plump, pung. That's one, two, three, four blocks. All we need is a pair. I don't want this to be my pair though. We may never get it because people like to keep the honors, especially dragons for score. Let's go ahead and discard the terminals. Nine crack. Nine crack. Nobody can take it except east. Look at that. Pung. We're going to pung it. Let's see. So south discarded it. So we're going to turn a tile to indicate that that came from the player on the right. And we're going to discard a 4-bam. Four 4-bam. Four Down here, we can chow. Two, three, four, three, four, five. But up here, we can pung. Let's pung. Pung takes precedence over a chow. So we're going to skip these two players. Now this is a little risky because they only have two pair. But we could maybe play all pung, pair up, or do half flush. Either way, that four might help. Okay, so we're going to discard the one crack. It's pretty aggressive. Let's draw. We're in cracks. Can't take a single tile unless you're ready to win. And we're not. We're going to draw. East. Oh, that was really good because any three of a kind of your seat, in this case east, that's a fawn. We're going to discard the two dot. Nobody can take it. Now you'd think, well, why not do it here or here? You cannot chow from the player across from you. You can only chow from the player on your left. So we're going to draw. White dragon. That's going to help get to half flesh. Let's discard the six crack. Nobody can take the six crack, so we'll draw here. Now, we're thinking of all chow here, right there. Five, six, seven. Let's take it. This is isolated now, but you know what? Number tiles are much more flexible than single honors. Let's discard the east and draw. But we can pung here. So we're going to skip them and pung. So we just have a pung of seat win there. Let's get rid of the offsuit tile. Four dot. Nobody can take the four dot. We're going to draw west. That could help get to the half flesh. Even though these are singles, if we pair up, we can get there. Let's discard the one dot. And nobody can take the one dot. So we're going to draw for west. Four crack. If we're playing chows, keeping that three crack helped because now we have a potential chow. Let's discard the north. Nobody can take a north, so we're going to draw. Two dot. We paired up. That was good. You can mix suits with all pung. That's still three fawn. So we can pung here and here. There's a pung already out. South is not going to help as far as the seat. This is north and it's the east round. So this will not bring extra value. So let's get rid of that wind right now. And we're going to draw. Five bam. We want cracks. Five bam. Nobody can pung it, but can we chow? No. We have a three five right there. So we're going to draw. Red. Paired up. We can pung. Pung. Maybe. Pung. Pung. Chow. Maybe. Let's discard the six dot. Six dot. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Eight crack. Okay, we need to look at the isolated tiles. 
This is a potential chow with either a two dot or five dot. Isolated, isolated, isolated chow. So we can get rid of any of these. Let's get rid of the terminals. Nine dot. There's only one chow at an end tile, the terminals, ones and nines. You can either pung or chow one, two, three, or seven, eight, nine. So they're not as flexible as the, the middle tile. So that's, this is an edge tile. So we're gonna discard maybe that next. So nine dot, nobody can take it, we're gonna draw. One dot. Let's discard the one dot. We're looking to pair up and pung. Nobody can take a one dot, so let's draw. To crack, that's a potential pung. Here's a chow. Let's go ahead and discard. We have, we have a pung of nine cracks and a pung of east out. So that's two blocks, three. We need to pair up. Let's go ahead and discard the west. I think if we discard, for, uh, for example, one of the winds here or the dragons here, then we could be waiting on a pair, but it's pretty risky waiting on a pair of honors. Let's see what happens. Five dot. Let's get rid of this nine dot drawing here. One crack. Let's get rid of the one dot. So we have three, five, oops, three, five, six, isolated eight. There's some chow potential there, and there's a chow. So one dot was discarded, we can draw. Five bam. Okay, we wanna pair up though. Nine bam. Let's discard the nine bam. Actually, the five bam's already been discarded. If you wanna pair up, discard what's out. Five, bam, nobody can take that, so we're gonna draw. Two crack, pung. If you draw it yourself, stay concealed. So we're gonna discard one of these and it really doesn't matter which one. Let's discard the white dragon. It's kind of arbitrary at this point because none are out. I'd rather draw a crack and be waiting on a crack than a honor. So let's draw here now. Four bam, whoa, that'll help them get to that half flesh. Let's discard the five dot. So we need to pung, pung, pung. There's a chow, potential chow. Okay, so here, we're gonna chow. Four, five, six. All chow. We've got work to do. These are isolated. Let's discard the eight crack. Drawing here. North, that's their seat. We want pungs. Let's get rid of this nine bam. And draw down here. Eight dot, not helpful. Nobody can take it, we're gonna draw. Five crack, discard. Okay, we just got through the second wall. We're heading into the middle game now. Ciao. Now we need to discard. The one crack. Let's see if somebody will discard a terminal because they are not as flexible. It's an edge tile. There's one out, but there's no three dots out. Never mind. If it's out, get rid of it. One crack. Now we have three out that may come our way here for a three dot. Ready to win on a three dot for all chow. One crack was discarded. We're gonna draw. Four flower. They just got their own flower. Replacement from the back of the wall. White dragon. 
Yeah, these are not helpful. There's a white dragon out already, so we'll discard that and draw for east. We need a red dragon or a crack. Green dragon. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Let's throw the red up here. We're going to pung. Pung. And let's see. There we go. Now we're going to discard the white dragon. Drawing for west. Seven bam. They've got a mixture of cracks, dots, bams. So none of these, neither of these are out. So it's six one half dozen the other. Let's draw. Oh, seven bam. Pung. Pung. Let's throw the north and draw two dot discard. We want cracks. We're going to pung. Pung. Now we need to discard what's out. What's out? None of these are out. Let's look at exposures. There's a, you need to look at discards as well as exposures. There's a four dot in, an, in a chow. There's a four crack and a five crack in a chow. So all these, the five crack would be best because that's in two different chows. We want the best opportunity to pair up. We're going to draw. Now here we can chow so that we can discard the green and be ready on an eight crack. Better than be than waiting on a honor, I think. So we're going to chow that, discard the green dragon, and we're ready now on an eight crack, which is more likely because people hold the honors if they can. We're going to pung. Now that's looking scary. Two dragon pungs. Let's discard the west. Two dragon pungs. That's going to be expensive. In this case, it may be we're ready on a one bam or a four bam. Okay, we're going to draw six crack. We'll discard that. We're ready on a three dot. Ready on an eight crack, ready on a one bam or a four bam, ready on a three dot, trailing behind. Seven dot, not helpful. Let's get rid of the four crack. Maybe the four dot next. Drawing for east, eight dot, that's a discard. Drawing for south, four crack, discard. Drawing for west, mahjong, self-pick, all chow, no flowers. We'll put it to the side. Actually, offset. If you turn it to the side, that indicates who discarded it, but we self-picked. So we'll just put it to the back so you can see it. Self-pick. And we have a chow. chow and another chow all chow is one fawn no flowers is a fawn so they have two fawn self-picked they get paid double from the other players so that is 1,000 from each player And that is in one, two, eight discards, which is pretty quick. Cheap hand, only the winner gets paid. Ready to win on an eight crack, ready to win on one of two tiles, one bam or four bam. Now there was a pung of four bams out and there's one here. So one bam was their only available tile. Up here, 
they needed to pair up. So they punged early and that was a risk. If you're going to go for all pung, you should really have four pair before you commit to an all pung hand because they're stuck. Don't get stuck by committing early. That was a pretty quick game. All chow, seven discards, eight discards. Three, two, one. That was lightning quick. Little hand, all chows, mixed suits, no flowers. Eight discards. If you're playing a big hand, make sure you're set. It might look pretty, but those chow hands can sneak up on you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing click the little gray bell when you do that way you'll get notification for when i post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next solitaire for hong kong mahjong may all your picks be keepers